It's morning time. Talk a doodle doo. Rise and shine, or you'll miss today's tale. Last time I heard Bear tell a story, it was wonderful. It was one of those magical stories. It was a scary story. I'm coming. Hope it starts soon. Oh dear, we're going to be late. Yeah, this is awful. Hi, how, how, how exactly do you get down? <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. Hey, everybody, come on. It's almost time for the story. Yeah, I'm so excited for the story. Oh, boy. 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 I'm a little late. <laughs> so, is anybody in the mood for a story? That's right, that's right. Everyone here, make it a good story. story. Make it a good 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 story. I know you guys are waiting for a story, and I think I've got just the one. Now listen closely, and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, in a beautiful garden, there lived a little goat who always felt the need to ask her older brother for help. One day, there was a competition to see who could plant the most saplings, so the little goat decided she would enter and try her luck. tree in this spot before I plant any others, or I'll be out of the competition. What can I do? Where is my brother when I need him? He could do this. Glenn! Glenn what's wrong? You wouldn't believe it. There's a huge rock in my hole. A rock? A rock? Want us to help you move it? Oh, that's really sweet. Ah. But you two are much too small <laughs> to be able to lift a rock this size. <laughs> my brother's the only one who's strong enough to you do it. You should let us try first. You may not always be able to find your brother when you want him. My brother always wears a bell. He's really easy to find. <laughs> Why are you always running to Glenn? Because he's so strong. <laughs> we should take a look at this really huge rock. Glenn! Glenn! Huh? Oh, there he is! Glenn! Glenn, it's me! I need your help! Oh, that oh. rock is pretty big. Well, let's get rid of it. Whoa! Oh. Uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's a really big stone? Yeah, come take a look at it. It looks impossible to move. Look, here they come. So where is it? Uh, it was right there. I wonder where it went. How strange. <laughs> you didn't even try to lift it, did you? What? But how did you get it out? <laughs> you thought it was so big, big you couldn't lift it by yourself, <laughs> didn't you? She relies on me too much. Uh, it looked like it was really heavy in the ground. Kim, you have to take the trees up the hill to plant by yourself. By myself? I'm never going to make it. No way. I have a better idea. Why don't you do it for me? Kim, this is your competition. But you're allowed to help me. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Don't you want me to win first prize? Please, I need your help. I can't do it alone. Uh, oh, fine, but this is it. Yay! <laughs> you're so strong, Glenn. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of your bell makes me feel so confident. I know I can do anything when I hear really? it. Everyone is ahead of us. We have to bring as many saplings as we can carry. Glenn, wait a minute. We should bring these, too. <laughs> all right, if you insist. <laughs> you bet. They'll all fit in the wagon, and it'll be easy with your help. <laughs> you think so, huh? <laughs> I know it. We can still win this competition. <laughs> I love the sound of this bell so much. When I hear it, I know I can do anything. 
I'll pull from the front and you push from behind. Come on, let's go! <sighs> that bell gives me strength. The bell? The sound of your bell makes me feel so confident. I know I can do anything when I hear it. Oh, great! Great idea! Yeah? You're doing really well. Look, you've already made it to the last hill. Yes. With your help, I'm able to accomplish everything I put my mind to. All right. Come on. Keep it moving. You're doing really well. <sighs> Keep going. You can do We're it. We're almost there. Look, Kim's pulling it all by herself. Oh, you're so strong, Glenn. Keep pushing. <laughs> A rock! Push harder! Oh! oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn! <laughs> oh. I can do anything when I hear the sound of that bell. Oh. <laughs> She's a lot oh. stronger than she gives herself credit for. Oh. Oh. Now you don't have to push. I think I can do it on my own from here on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big hill. Watch out. Here we come. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Are you still pushing? Slow down. We're going too fast. <laughs> oh. Come on. Slow down. Stop running. Oh. Wow. Slow down, Glenn. Come on. Glenn, without your help, I never would have made it. Especially over those steep hills. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Who on earth are you talking to, Kim? <laughs> My brother, of course. <laughs> and where is your brother? <laughs> huh? Glenn? Glenn? <laughs> Wait a sec. Well, that's his bell. Oh. He was never there. You brought the saplings all by yourself. <laughs> but where's Glenn? Where did he go? Could it be true? Uh -huh. Glenn, did I pull the wheelbarrow all by myself? <laughs> you sure did. I knew you could do it. Oh, I had no idea. I guess that means I was talking to myself the whole time, too, huh? <laughs> Kim, why don't you take this bell? It will remind you that you're strong enough to do things on your own. You'll never lose your confidence again. Oh, thank you. It's beautiful. From that moment on, Kim had enough confidence to try things on her own first and was able to accomplish more than she ever dreamed. Just the one. Now listen closely and I hope you like it. Every story starts with Once Upon a Time. Puck! 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 What is it? They say that Toli has finally found it. The stream runs through our property. What? The miraculous water that cures every illness. Ah, what? Are you serious? <laughs> is gathered in Toll Eye's courtyard. Whoa. Come see quickly. Come. Ah. Grandfather, drink this water. It will cure you. Please, it's good for you. I'm sure that it is, but I'm afraid that I can't. Uh, why not? Oh, what's wrong? You should give it to the old man who lives down the pathway. His illness is terminal, and the mother of the twins has had a dangerous fever for days. That medicine is very rare, and should be given to the most ill first. I will take what's left. I understand. 
I want some of that miraculous water, too. It's worth a fortune. I bet we could live to be a hundred years old. I really want some. What can I do to get my hands on that miraculous water? <laughs> of course, my love. That's a clever plan. <laughs> <laughs> it will be like killing two birds with one stone. Do you think you can pull it off? It'll require a little nerve. <laughs> yes. As of tomorrow, that miraculous water is all ours. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pack requests everyone at his home. Oh, oh, what's going on? What do you think Especially he's going to tell us? Hour. I have no idea. Yeah, you're all a bunch of worthless hooligans. According to the law of this village, you should have brought me that miraculous water first, since it originates on Bear Mountain, which is my property by hereditary right. It belongs to me, to me and my family. I don't care who found it. From now on, whoever drinks it without paying me or whoever distributes it will be severely punished. I hope you have that clear. That miraculous water is mine! I won't have you stealing from me! You can't keep all that water to yourself! It's unfair! The sick need it! Scoundrel! How dare you speak to me! Just because the river flows through his land does not mean it's his. Am I right? The law is the law! Starting today, I order each of you to bring me a pitcher of miraculous water every day from the cave, right here to my home! Do you understand? But every day, only enough flows to fill half a pitcher! That's not my problem! No, <laughs> you should have thought of that before you stole! Then bring me half a pitcher! Oh, and whoever thinks about stealing will be punished, yes, punished! In the harshest manner allowed by oh, law! You haven't even had a sip of it. And now the water belongs to Pack. How will you ever get better? Oh. These laws are unfair and outdated. Even a bird that flies across his land could be called his. But now that he's claimed it, what can we do? Wait a minute. I think I have a fine idea. He doesn't have to know. Why not find a way for everyone to have some before we even give it to him? That's true. Whoever draws the water should at least be able to have some of it, since he's too lazy to get it himself. Tolai, show us the road tomorrow. Yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see it's the this cave. way. We're going to Bear Mountain to get oh. the magic <laughs> water. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the cave where you found the miraculous water? Oh. Come oh. on, everyone, let's go in. <laughs> 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 Oh, I cannot believe my eyes! Oh my this goodness! This place is huge! Is I can't enormous. believe what I'm seeing at all! I can't believe what I'm oh. seeing! Oh. Oh. oh! Who is it that enters my cave? Oh. 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 Get out of here! Oh. 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 What on earth was that? It looked like a ghost. Maybe it was some scoundrel dressed up in makeup trying to keep us from the miraculous water by scaring us. If that's true, we can't let this rascal frighten us. Let's teach him a lesson. That's right. Let's get in there and yeah, show him yeah, what yeah, we think of imposters. Come on out, ghost. Whatever it is you are, we're ready for you. Mr. Kim is hurt. Uh, 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 Oh, Mr. Kim! Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Now that I got a second look at him, I'm pretty sure he's really a ghost. Thieves, did you think you could take my water without my permission? I could send you all to the afterlife with a glare from my eyes, but I will be forgiving. So long as you provide me with the offerings I request, I will allow you to take water. If you provide me with the sacrificial horns of a buck, roots of ginseng, and an abundance of gold, or else I will collapse this cave on your heads and rain fire on your village. You have offended my spirit, and you must pay for that crime. You're complete fools. What did you think you were doing offending a ghost? Now the village is in danger. You must sell all your possessions now so that we can afford a sacrificial offering. No, no, I refuse to shoulder this alone. Whoever does not comply will be risking the entire village. This is everything I have. Please let me have some miraculous water. I don't want these useless things. How can the spirit refuse these gifts? They were prepared with great 
care according to traditions. Hey, look over there. Oh, great spirit, please accept this offering. Oh, that's delicious. When I offered him my gold ring, he gave me the water to drink. You should do the same. That is the kind of offering he desires if you want to have any miraculous water. <laughs> Tolai! Yanai! Hack has sent a man to ask us to offer our house, or else we'll have no miraculous water. Grandfather's illness has gotten even worse. Oh. What can we do? Oh. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Grandfather, do ghosts really exist, or are they just figments of our imagination? In my lifetime, I have heard many ghost stories, but I have never seen one. Unfortunately, I cannot answer your question, for you see, I do not know you. I have no other choice but to face this ghost. I simply cannot bear this injustice any longer. What if it is not a ghost, but one of the inhabitants of the village, and he's armed? It could be dangerous. <laughs> If only Pack had not forced our grandfather to go in search of bears. What? Bears? But of course. Uh, uh. Oh. I have a fantastic idea. Tolai, Tolai, don't go, please. I beg you. What would I do if you were hurt? I couldn't bear it. Don't go. Yanai, I have to. Tolai! Take care of yourself and take care of Grandfather. I'll be back soon. Tolai! Tolai! Like that, you're going to break my gate. Hold on. Please, we must go to the cave. Something bad is going to happen. We have to stop it. What? What's going to happen? Come and you'll see. Uh, 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 so what's so important that you have me running over here? It better be good. My feet are killing me. <laughs> what is it? Is something wrong? I really don't know. Huh? Huh? It's heavy. Huh? Hold it very huh? tightly. What in the world is that? I have no idea. <clears throat> Tolai, what's in that huge box, huh? 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 Please move out of the way. You little brat, how dare you? Uh, great spirit, I have brought you a gift. It is the essence of musk, which is very expensive. Uh, I am pleased and will accept your gift. Let's go in. Can you hear what's going on? Something's moving. I think Tolai's coming out. I want to see, too. Uh. Move it! Huh. Hey! Friends, you're about to see an amazing sight. Please stand back, and I promise you will be glad you're here. Who knows what this boy is talking about? We might as well wait it out and see. Let's go. Sure, sure. why not? Choice. What's going to happen? Just wait, and you'll see. Essence of Musk! Essence of Musk! Exactly what the spirit desires. It's worth a fortune. Uh, this ghost uh, likes that. Hold on a little Let's bit longer. Let's take a peek at our sacrificial offering. Help! I'm under attack! Uh -oh. A bear! Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Save me! Oh, 
He's been plotting to get all our possessions and keep us from the miraculous water. <laughs> Pack! Don't run towards me! I don't want that bear near me! Go the other way! My love! I need your help! Oh. Keep me out of this! I don't want to be lunch for any bears! No! Let him eat you before me! No! No! He should eat you! I only did what you told me to do! Nice little bear! No! <laughs> the bear has given them what they yes! deserved. <laughs> Tolai, you've found a cure for our village once again. This time from tyranny. Tolai! Yanai! He tried to take advantage of us, but Tolai saved us! So what do you say, kids? Did you like today's story? <laughs> if you come back tomorrow, I'll have another new tale to tell you. And I know you're just going to love it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, we so do so do so do Yeah! <laughs>